one owner car guy and I'm just gonna do a quick lot walk around type of an update type thing got my paraglider in here do it up close to that. I gotta do it up close to that. get some fuel in this bad boy oh yeah uh, Citroen still haven't moved it got some amps and boxes in here got a couple new cars brought in that I don't have a up on my site yet that I'm gonna just kind of show real quick. Got about a 75,000 mile two owner celebrity. That's the next one I'm picturing actually. Uh, you've probably already seen the video of the Porsche on there. Beautiful car, absolutely beautiful. One owner, uh, <laughs> beautiful tires and wheels. That one's got 58,000 on the Porsche. This one's got about 70 or 80. Beautiful celebrity wagon. Uh, Got the SL, the Chinook, the Fifth, uh, not Fifth Avenue, what is that? New Yorker. Got another, I want to say Riata, Regal Limited. This here, this touring sedan, you'll see on my site pretty soon. Very, very, very unique car. Tacked out on the National. There's 100,000 on this one. Look at this sporting interior. All loaded with heated seats. This is 91. Not too many of the touring sedans made with these cool alloy wheels. It's kind of like a, kind of like a baby Roadmaster or a baby Fleetwood. That's my car there. I've been splitting the time between that one and the Jaguar there. Merc, actually, I've put in a few days on that. Sixty-three thousand, one or two owner, I forget. Uh, Seventy-nine, four fifty SEL uh, Euro model with all the nice, I love them glass lights. I talked to some people in Europe and they love our uh, American lights, some of them. Some of them like their lights. I guess it's all preference. Camper Special, I showed you that one up close in my last walk around. Sierra Grande, this is a beautiful little truck. Blast to drive. 560 SEC, about a 90 I think. Uh, that Jeep will be up in a while. Uh, Roadmaster, got the 92 Dually, 95,000 original miles on that car. 110 on this one. That's a one owner. That's a two owner. One owner Ford F-150, 95 model, with about 130 on it. I've got about five of these 560 SELs or 500 SELs right in right in right, blah, 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 right in right now. Um, 86 Vet. I just got this van box in. The Ford the Ford Fairmont Squire just got done today. Um, I just got that Grand Caravan in, about 85,000 original miles. This one is sold, um, the Sapporo. I love the interior on this car. And this guy's coming down actually from, I believe he was in Canada? Canada or Salt Lake? Look at that interior. And he actually bought it, his wife had one. She bought it new, and she had it when they got married in 82. And he actually bought it for her as a 20th, I wanna say, anniversary present. Super cool, that is exactly why I like doing these cars as things and stories just like that. Video has just been uploaded to this. Um, got another Thunderbird SC, forty-four thousand on this one. Um, I have that one up in a while. You've probably seen the Suburban on there. If you're looking for one of them. It's a clean one. Now I've had this little six thirty or six thirty-five CSI for quite a while. Um, I bought it needing a fuel pump and something else, and I got it fixed. Ha! <laughs> and the numbers are gone. I think it is a six thirty CSI. All the books and everything. Oxbud red interior. This car's in great shape. And needs paint. Sit around and got dust on it for about a year and a half. Duly sold. Got an old 85, 86 Suburban. Nice one owner rig, actually. I got three of these Cadillacs flat tire there. Three of these Cadillac Seville's like this in. In 76 through 78. And then I got a black one, a blue one, and a maroon one. And I also got a slant back, a uh, bustle back. Um, and an 84. This little prelude, if you're looking for a clean one owner. 105, I think, on it. 110, what is it? 107, okay. I hit both sides of that. Look at this bad boy. Clean as can be. Got the 04 Crown Vic. And like someone told me, that's the year to have. You get the Mercury Marauder airbox and everything. 
Um, that's the 86 vet, 86, 87, 88, right in there somewhere. Um, cool, cool thing about this. Well, I got the battery cover off. I have that inside. One of the cool things about this is the gaudy wheels. And back in the day, these were the wheels to have, baby. Not like they're not nowadays. These are bad. Kumho Extra Supras on it. Look at how wide. These have to be 295.50s. Where are these? I gotta know, just for me. Where are they? Of course, it's gonna be the hardest one I've ever found. 255. 50 sixteenths. God, them look wide. Look at that. Get some meats under this thing. Ram Charger coming up. I love this little wagon. I got some wagons in right now, buddy. Um, I don't even know what this is. I don't remember if it's a LTD. That's what it is. There you go. LTD. Got this white on white with the red. <whistles> nice as it gets with the big old knuckles. Oh, buddy, it's nice. couple things I'm going to do to it, maybe. Maybe get that centerpiece fixed and have my guy clean that seat up a bit. And this piece here has got a little thing on it. Back seat harness looks to be set in. That's a gold package. Everything works. It's a low mile. You got the door. Door locks in the gold package. Love the gold package car. Buick Wildcat. Now I am painting this car, I believe. Haven't decided whether I'm going original. I'm not a big gold fan. I'm driving a gold W140 right now and I don't dig gold. I hate gold. But that's the original color of this car. Got the tan interior. 455. Such a nice little car. And I really want to do it justice, but look at this. It's just so clean. And I'm going to have to paint it. Look at it, I like that. When I'm sitting in it and I see that, I think I'm in a cougar for some reason. Look at that. You end up closing them too hard because it's just so clean. And tight. I guess clean wouldn't have to do with how solid your chunk is. 500 SEL, this one is. 84, 85. A couple little dings in the hood is the worst of this one. Um, like I say, my stuff's dusty from sitting around. Um, I want to make sure it was a 500. And yes, this is the 560. I've got another one in the back. I got five of these right now. Beautiful car. Low miles, all of them. SL, I showed you the old Cutlass. This is a one or two owner. I forget. It's got the rally wheels. I'm gonna get the caps. See, I'm missing the cap there. And they look so good with the caps. I gotta buy them before I do this one. Cut the Supreme. Got the jack and the, I mean, excuse me, the club and the fascia for the. Um, oh, goodness. Sunscreen. There you go. I start thinking about things I gotta do. I'm walking around. <laughs> and you can see my dog. She sees me out here. She paces back and forth. Oh, where's he at? Where's he at? You hear how sometimes. Oh, she knows I'm looking at her. That's cold. Poor dog. Oh yeah, he blocked all their spots. Good job, dude. Um, gonna have to move that. And let's see. And other than that, take you in here and show you the rest of this. Show you what we got here. Got a blue Seville here. Nice one. And all these are the 350s. This is got the top. I can get a new top on it. This one needs a top. Everything works. Nice car. Uh, another 560 over there. Got the 300 back there. That's an 86. Uh, Super Coupe. I believe that, yeah, that's going to Indiana. I think that one's gone. Um, the 300E. This one is absolutely beautiful. Got the real leather interior. Um, I haven't decided what to do. I can get these pieces replaced so cheap. These three the mats are like just awesome condition. The whole car is in great shape. I love these little E's and S's. Look at that. 
The only the last thing I need to do is this. I don't know what to do to it. It's falling off, and look at this. It is so beautiful and in such good shape. I'm gonna figure out a way to stick it up there somehow. Falling dust all over my little Rio motor. Other than that, I'll show you the ones inside, and then I'll kind of flip out of this and give you an outro here. Two wagons in there. I'm gonna go for this one first. Great shape. This is a one owner car. Got the seat all the way up to clean it up a bit. And these are original miles. Super, super clean car. Ford LTV. Got the big old 5.0 in it. It's a great run. I'm missing a cap on the other side. Now this is the Catalina. I don't know if you've seen it before. Beautiful car. We buffed it out, and I'll tell you, it's the original paint, and it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, it is not perfect. That's all there is to it, but this car just looks amazing. You can see the motor just clean as can be. Gotta love that Pontiac baby blue. I think they quit that in a certain year. Maybe when they switch to Chevy motors, huh? Stinking Chevy motors. And we're having issues with the back glass on this bad boy. And so we got people inside and outside and all around the side. Oh, that is too slick. Hey, Hugh, did you see how that window goes up? Is it? Now watch this. Did you hit the motor? Oh, that is slick. I'm glad yeah, I... Somebody uh, engineered something there. Pretty glad I was filming for that. That is pretty cool. And you just pick it up, huh? Yeah. When you don't have a camera. How do you make it stay? It just goes. Oh, your key's over. Your key's over. Yeah, that's it. Huh? Cool. Put the... Do the, do the window, man. That is too cool. How much do you think that window costs if you break it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I brought a toolbox thing. I want that thing for the back of my pickup, but you can throw it in for rags or something. Let me look. I'm going to do these two and I'm done okay. with my video. This is the last one. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. This one I think I'm definitely going to replace this piece. And this piece. And the same there. And you can see more of the lumbar out. This is a clean car. It's in great shape. Runs great. I don't remember. One's got a one's a 400. One's a 500. And I've got another asset by another place. This one has a punch in the bumper. It's going to be relatively cheap. Um, great car. I think this is a 500. Yes. I can even call that. Come on now. Okay, that was a bit lucky. Kind of 50/50 shot there, right? And show you inside this one. This one's in better shape on the seats. Uh, it's a 400. Actually, this one has um, 10,000 more miles. Chrome package on this one, on the 400. And I like the SEs. You, hey, there's a good comparison right there. There you go. Side by side. There's the door of the S. There's the door of the SE. We got a tape measure. No tape measure needed. You can see that door versus that door is a lot bigger. It'd have to be fast. Cool. Might as well. We're going to get all kinds of cool stuff in this picture. Let's go bottom. Right to the end of the door. This is the door. How, how far? 35 and uh -huh. three quarters. we got a carpenter here to where we can tell exactly how this is. 30 and a quarter. So, how much is this? 35 and a quarter? Let's do it again, I already forgot. 30 and a quarter, 30, 34. Almost right at 34, so it's like four three. inches. Yeah, right under four. So that's a bit of a difference between an S and an SE. Not a whole lot. Thanks for watching, have a great day or night. Um, make sure and check out my website, www.oneownercarguy. Any of these cars you need, let me know. I'd like to make you a deal.
406-544-6919. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. We're going to get back over here and look at this car. It's pretty cool.